what's up youtube you already know what it is it's your girl gracie and i am back with another video for you guys so if you're new to the channel make sure you comment like and subscribe and most importantly make sure y'all hit that post notification bell so that way you all could be notified every time your girl upload another video okay so i'm not gonna ramble too much so y'all by that title by that thumbnail y'all already know what's finna go down in the dm so today I will be reacting to Love by Erica, Why Didn't I Call the Police? So let's see what she's talking about now, you guys. Um, I've still been waiting on those other videos, but as she stated in her other videos, I guess she's going to leave the situation alone or whatever. But um, she had us all hype, you know, talking about some. she had like 10 videos coming after the one she had coming out. But let's see what she's talking about right here when she said, why didn't she call the police? Who she's talking about? I have no idea. I have not seen this video. I pre-recorded it and walked away from my phone, so... Enough talking, let's get into this reaction. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I got some on my face over here. Dion scratched the mess out of me last night. But yeah guys, so like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on so that you'll be notified every time I drop another video. Click the link in the description down below. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Sorry I didn't upload yesterday, guys. I was not feeling good at all. I was extremely sick and nauseous, so I just kind of laid around in the bed all day. Today, I'm feeling much better. Um, still kind of, like, nauseous and stuff like that, but, um, yeah, I'm trying to fight through whatever because I definitely don't want to sit in bed all day like I did with my last pregnancy. So we're about to pick up Cammy from pregnancy, school and then we're gonna take Cammy get a hair. So she is pregnant, y'all. See, I don't watch all her videos like that. So she is pregnant by the mucker guy, right? Wow. She can she getting pregnant by all these people, all these famous people that's making money. She sure is getting pregnant. Cut. And I don't know what we're gonna do after that. Um, yeah but i do want to talk to you guys uh i've been getting a lot of emails about um like a lot of women i think they already know the answer to this question but just in case they don't they want to know why uh domestic violence uh victims don't call the cops or like what are some reasons why they don't feel comfortable calling the cops so i can only speak from experience before she say what she got to say, I feel like people that's in a domestic, you know, relationship that's been abused and things like that, and it's and they say why didn't you call the police? I feel like it's a it's out of fear. I feel like a person had that's been beaten on for so long is I mean why call the police? You know what I'm saying? Because this person already been beaten on you. You call the police just gonna make the situation worse. Sir. Because the police say the police don't make there in time, and you in the house trying to call the police or whatever the situation is. It's just best, you know, it is best to call the police, but it is also even better to even just get up and walk away or wait when that person go to sleep and then get your shit and get the fuck on out of there. If you're in that type of uh, abusive relationship, um, I just feel like people don't call the police out, out of fear and out of, you know, just being in fear, especially if you've got kids with that person, it, 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 it can go a whole long way. But I just ha that's how I personally feel why people don't call the police because they out of, out of fear and out of what this person might do to that person. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just something that just people say, okay, I don't want to call the police. No, it's really something deep down where why they don't call the police because they're so scared. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people can easily say, why don't you, why don't you call the police? Why don't you call the police? Uh, It's not that easy. Like I'm Like, I'm getting my ass beat every day or beat on or whatever the situation is and you just scared to call the police i mean you probably it, and a lot of people it's either fear or a lot of people still care for that person and just don't want to call the police as well that can be another issue too people can be so scared or so in love where they just don't want to call the police at all they just want to just you know just keep taking the abuse or whatever until they just had enough and then you end up hurting somebody hurting this person killing this person and then yourself now and now you taking away from your kids because you in jail you know what i'm saying so like i said domestic domestic um relationships can go so so far you know what i'm saying like i said um some some people get into relationships and get abused scared to call the police because they still in love with that person they want to see that person in trouble going to jail because they probably still see a future with that person and some people just don't call the police out of fear or some people just don't call the police because they feel like this person might do something hurtful to me and and, and if i call the police like you just never know it's not just because you just don't want to call the police like no there's something deep down why a person didn't call the police right then and there when that person put their hands on you you know what i'm saying um yeah because soon as you call the, i don't know 
Y'all, y'all leave y'all thoughts down below. So let's see what she got to say about it. Yes, I think that you guys have forgotten, you know, um, the career that I had because maybe I don't look like it or maybe I don't act like it, but <laughs> the proof is in writing. But um, yeah, so. I'm going to name some reasons why uh, domestic violence um, victims don't feel comfortable calling the police and then, uh oh, sorry y'all, that's my, let me turn my little thingy off. Anyway, so normally during like a heated argument or um, when there's any form of abuse and a woman like runs to her phone or, you know, or is texting somebody or calling somebody. Um, the aggressor normally takes the phone from her to where she can't call anybody. That's true. They'll even sometimes true. break the phone or um, hide the phone, lock the phone. Like they'll do anything in their power to where the the victim can't um, get access to call 911. Or a lot of times, from my experience, um, the aggressor will end up calling the cops first and make up lies like. Uh, they'll make it seem like the victim is the one that's out of control and you know being overly aggressive won't leave the house and stuff like that or has hit them you know kind of making false statements to get the um, police on their side so yeah that's um that's one reason why sometimes the victims don't call the cops another reason is um, the cops won't do anything so I know from you know being a law enforcement officer i've been called to several um you know uh the domestic violence um situations situations and the cops will arrive and let's hypothetically speak here let's say that the victim is trying to inform the police officer that her husband has choked her well if there's no marks on her neck it's kind of his word against hers so for some reason the laws are set up to where you have to like physically show some type of sign um like sometimes i don't know if the, how true that is but she used to be in the you know the police little industry or whatever but i did not know that if you call the police saying that your boyfriend choked you that you had to have proof that he choked you that don't make sense to me that 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 do not make sense to me so you mean to tell me so if i call and say my boyfriend choked me they gonna come and look at me saying let me see your neck and there ain't no beauty there's nothing there no scratches no nothing that what they just gonna leave me in the house to die i don't know how true that statement is i'm gonna have to look that one up a bruise or blood or cut or something or show where patches of hair is missing um i would never understand that law but yeah so you know the abusers will get real smart like they know like they <laughs> they get smarter every time like they know like oh i got away with it this time i didn't she didn't show any marks so they couldn't arrest me so this time i'm gonna do something like lock her in the closet or i'm gonna strangle her just enough where it won't leave a bruise on her neck or i may slap her but i'm not gonna slap her that hard leave a handprint so that that's where the whole me. recording and stuff like that comes into play because maybe that law is down there in texas because i don't know i ain't never heard nothing like that in my life if if that is the law that's the reason why people getting fucked up now today if that's the fucking law people like what the fuck like a person can get stabbed just because it ain't draw enough blood i don't know it, it this is this this statement right here don't make sense to me so a person can just punch the shit out of me just because it don't leave a bruise but it hurt me physically if you don't see it nothing i can't press charges that don't make sense to me maybe that that got to be a texas law that got to be a texas law because mm -mm. nope if the police officer don't have a witness then it's pretty much like your word against theirs also guys um let's say that the aggressor has a best friend that's okay but at the same time, I can see, now that she said that, long, if you have a witness, because a person can lie on somebody really goddamn good just to get their asses in trouble. So now, 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 I, now I can understand. So a person can lie and say a person punched, punched them or whatever the situation is, and then 
you know what I'm saying, and that person get in trouble, and this person can still say they didn't do it. You just never know who's fucking lying, so I guess they probably do got to have a little proof, like, okay, if it's a mark on my face, obviously this person punched me, but you got people that will go as crazy as just punching themselves and lie and say this person punched them. Yes, people will go that fucking far, literally that far. There, they clearly see the whole thing. I highly doubt that that best friend is gonna have your back once the police show up. It rarely happens that way. They're gonna lie and say that they oh, yeah, never touched you. So again, yeah. and a lot of people that's in an abusive relationship or whatever, you know what I'm saying? People just think it's just so easy just to walk away from that person or blah, blah, blah. You know, y'all been together for so long. You've been taking abuse for so long and you feel and you see potential in this person that this person can change. And some some guys do change. Some people don't change. And this go, with, this go for men and women. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people, when they do get abused, they don't just walk away. You know what I'm saying? They probably feel like, okay, let's work this out. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we can both change let's get some counseling let's get this out in the third but some people just go so far you know what i'm saying because they feel like if they put their hands on you one time they can just continue putting their hands on you which is not okay um i didn't seen a lot been through a lot you know learned a lot over years with other people you know what i'm saying so it's crazy i didn't i didn't i didn't seen a lot and I guess it takes a lot a, a, a lot to actually walk away because there's a lot of people that's been abused that stay in a relationship for a long time until, this, until a person just had it and just had, had it, had it. And just, you know, and just pack that shit up and just fucking left. You know what I'm saying? But some people, to some people, it's just not that easy. Some people, it's just not that strong. Some people just want to work it out and see what this person is capable of doing, of changing. You know what I'm saying? So domestic violence can go so long. I mean, it's for so, so many different ways. So comment down below if you agree. What would be your words against theirs? So, yeah. So first one is they don't get a chance to call the cops because they'll either get the phone taken from them or the aggressor will call the cops first and make it seem like, you know, it's the victim's fault and everything and whatever. Or the cops, when they get there, they won't do anything about it. Then there's always the third one. They, um, because you gotta think about it with domestic violence, the charge really isn't that, um, high. Like, they'll probably sit. I feel like this whole law and this whole United States of America need to change anyway because. If you living with somebody and that person um, name is on the lease and that person's still abusing you, if you call the police, they can't make that person leave. Now you mean to tell me if this person beating on this person and, and then on top of not showing no signs of abuse and the, and the police get caught and that person name is on the lease and fuck it, you might, you might as well just pack your shit and just go somewhere to a hotel for the night because... They can't make that person leave. So you what? What you gonna do? Stay there and get killed or take the abuse even more? No, fuck that shit. That's what I'm saying. United States law in some states and whatever it needs to change because people deal with you know domestic for so many years and call the police just because this person is that they don't do nothing about it. Sometimes they don't, but sometimes they do. But in this world right now, it, it's either protect it's either protect yourself. It's, it, in this world right now, it's protect you and your kids. Because half time, the police ain't shit. And I'm not saying all police, but a lot of police that I've seen so far, you know, ain't shit. Because like you like like they saying, it, fuck what we saying. Fuck what we saying. They pull a gun out on us, shoot us. And hell, it's already our fault. It's because we black. So, you know what I'm saying? So that's just my little input on that. So let's just keep reacting. No. In jail for... If they never done anything wrong, probably a couple days and then get out on bail. Um, they would literally have to keep abusing the victim like over and over and over and over to um, get like a, a long sentence. So what will happen is they'll get out of jail. Once they get out of jail, they'll just beat the crap out of them again. So the laws are very, very weird. Yeah. Very weird. So... Um, those are the th three things that I have noticed why women don't call the police. Uh, if you've ever been a domestic violence victim, um, leave me a comment in the comment section down below on what you guys did Sorry, and stuff like that. Um, like I said, this video was highly uh, recommended. I check my email all the time. You know, I'm not able to check every single email because my email gets flooded 24-7. So whenever I can check it, that was one of the things that I noticed. And... 
yeah hopefully this video helps somebody out um yeah just if you are a victim of domestic violence don't ever think that it's gonna get better because it doesn't it always get worse and every i'm sorry don't mean i'm sorry it's like how many times are you gonna say sorry before i actually end up dead you just have to find enough strength um pray ask god to remove that person out of your life or to remove you out of that person's life um and god he will do it um, i'm a believer that he will do it um at the end of the day no matter how mad two people get at each other nobody should be putting their hands on each other whether it's the woman or the male realistically the male is always going to be stronger than the woman however we as women we shouldn't be putting our hands on them to begin with right. but don't be anybody's punching bag um you don't deserve that um you're worth way more than that and always remember guys that love does not hurt i don't care who and what she's saying is more easier said than done because a lot of people just don't understand, you know, what they're worth, what they're worth and what, you know, what they're capable of doing. You know, us as women are strong enough to walk away. We just choose. I just feel like a person just choose not to. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like I said in the beginning, like I just like I said a little bit ago, it's not easy to just walk away to somebody that you've been with for so long, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. It's it's not that easy. But at, at the same time, people don't walk out too as out on fear. It's it's just fear. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I don't know. Y'all leave y'all thoughts and let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Tries to tell you differently. Love does not hurt. It never will hurt. And um People, they love in their own way, if that makes sense. Maybe he do love you, or maybe she do love you, but maybe they love you in their own way. And just because it's in their own way doesn't necessarily mean it's the correct way. Because there's a lot of people out here loving people the wrong way. So you don't want to go through years and years of abuse, because I've heard some stories that are like kind of make you guys cry. Um, stories is way worse than stuff that I've gone through. And it's like nobody should have to go through a uh, physical abuse ever so if you are in a situation where you're crying out for help and you don't know what to do email me i don't mind um reaching out to you i don't mind um being an ear to vent to um nothing will get repeated even if we have to sign a confidentiality agreement i feel like everybody should like we are queens at the end of the day and we deserve a king and at the end of the day if we have a man that's putting their hands on us then they're not operating as a king so and i was always told from you know the old older generation if a man is putting his hands on you that means that he hates himself or he hates something about himself and right. there is so it's much tra childhood trauma that they need to heal from yes. and you I just like no matter how in love you are no matter what promises that they gave you don't believe it <laughs> um nobody wants to walk around with a black eye or a busted lip or a busted nose you're beautiful and nobody should be trying to touch your face nobody should try to harm your body you shouldn't look in the mirror and see bruises on your back on your shoulder like you just that's not normal behavior and for some reason um Regardless of what the situation is, don't put your hands on nobody at all. And so, women, women, we got to protect ourselves. Um, start carrying. Um, it's either because eventually, if it get, keeps getting worse and worse, it's either going to be you or them that's not going to wake up the next day. So, better them than you, right? So, um, I would just say, just get away from the situation don't look back and just get the help that you need um i can only imagine like the stories i've seen and heard is like very like heartbreaking so um because think about it you gotta ask yourself why do they want to put their hands on you in the most aggressive way ever whether that's punching you non-stop in your face um like what what is pain what does pain mean what is pain 
I feel like if a guy got to put their hands on you, I feel like, um, like I said, I feel like they got some insecurities going on or like she stated, something happened to, uh, to them as a child or seen a lot as a child. That's why it's always important not to argue in front of your children because children pick shit up and they are, they, they're like sponges. They pick shit up and they will never forget it. They would never forget it. That's why it's so important to do not argue in front of your children because I promise you they will live with that internally and... You know what I'm saying? They probably feel like that's how they supposed to treat they they husband or they wife. You know what I'm saying? That's not that's not okay. So those of you that do argue in front of your kids, please, um, if you're going through stuff, either remove the kids or something, but just do not argue in front of them. Or if that person that you're arguing with don't want to stop arguing, give them the silent treatment. Don't say nothing at all because you know your children is there. Or go just go sit by your children. Or if the person's still hollering and you don't want him hollering in front of your kids, you know, you just walk away like on the porch or something until the kids are staying in the house and y'all just go on the porch or whatever. But at that same time, you still, you said you you just tell that person, I don't want to argue in front of our kids or our kids, period, and just leave it alone. If that person don't want to listen, ignore them to the fullest, okay? Or you just get your kids and y'all just leave, go for a walk or something. But that's, that's how I feel. Do not argue in front of your kids because like I said, they're like sponges and they pick shit up, okay? And they would never forget it. Is it like these are things that you got to research. Like, you got to try to get in the mind of an aggressor, and that's a level of no self-control. Like, you want somebody that has 100% self-control to where even being verbally abusive, like, you know, calling somebody stupid and, you know, like, out their name, these and stuff like that. Like, you don't want nobody that's so quick at the tongue like that. Because 9 times out of 10, that lead, that's what leads to abuse. And it's little things that, that you know, women... Yeah. And what make it so bad, suppose this person have a daughter with this person and 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 uh, your daughter see what you're doing to their mom. Like, w would you want somebody doing that to your daughter? Like, you gotta, you have to think like that. You have to think like that because some people just don't think like that. Some people just don't give a fuck, like I said, because the little girl, like, say if you got a daughter and you fighting in front of her and, you're, and uh, the daughter's dad is putting his hands on the mom, she gonna think that shit is okay at a young age. Yeah, she gonna cry or whatever and stuff like that. But she's not gonna understand when she get older if a man put you know their hands on hands on her. She's not gonna understand or whatever because it's just gonna play back in her head. Cause memories stay there forever. You know, memories don't go nowhere. They don't. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's crazy because I don't know. I'm just gonna stop talking about it because I just feel like this is what she, what she's saying is very true. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling you how I feel about it, about domestic violence. So, let's get into it. We get tested on early on that we don't even notice because we're so, like, in awe or whatever. We have so many, like, hopes and dreams. But if you can let somebody verbally abuse you, then you might as well just let them physically abuse you because that's probably what's going to happen next. So, I'm going to end this video because Cammy is on his way um, to the car. And I'm going to take him to get a haircut. And we'll probably like sip on some hot chocolate or something like that and watch movies all day because it's pretty cold outside. So, uh, but that's enough for video self love by me, which is Erica. I wish nothing but blessings upon each of you and stay tuned to my next video. Peace, y'all. Okay, you guys, so there you guys have it. This was my reaction to this video by Love by Erica. Um, so guys, make sure you guys leave a like on this video, comment down below some more other videos you guys want to see me react to. Until next time, peace out.